Hello, researchers. Welcome to my next research video. You are with me, Dr. Rajesh Sikrin. If you are a first timer to my channel, do not forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so that when I post my next video, you will get the immediate notification. Okay, today I have come up with an interesting topic uh, how to attend PhD interview, how to crack the PhD interview successfully. Okay, so we will see five important tips how to crack the interview and uh, we'll go one by one number one see whenever be it a phd interview or any other interview when you attend any interview you have to be very clear about what you want to present in the interview number one obviously always the first question will be introduce yourself uh, tell about yourself so in that question you have to clearly establish about yourself probably you have to prepare well in advance about your work uh, skills and your qualities, your strength and weakness and all those things you have to prepare and you have to present it in a clear, concise manner. Probably if it is a biggest interview, you should mention about your uh, undergraduation, post-graduation, where you did that, which college and uh, what is your research in your UG and PG project, research project, you should talk about it probably which college you are from or what are the things you have learned from the college also you can mention. Along with that, uh, how did you derive interest towards the research also you should mention in the first question. Second, so after the answering the first question, second uh, uh, question, there is no fixed question. So obviously introduce yourself will be the first question. Second question based on the answer you give in the interview, they may pick up the thread from your answer itself they may ask you many so you have to be very careful so first thing i would always advise do not tell any lies do not tell any fake information always tell the truth so that you will be able to manage in case if they ask any other further uh, what you call the follow-up questions second thing you should be very clear about your research uh, plan that's what your research proposal uh, we, we call it as a broad area of research why did you select the broad area of the research and you should have a clear idea about who are all the experts in your field of research what are the latest development in your field what are the things uh, you you know what are the uh, kind of improvements are happening in your field you should know everything clearly and next thing you should know about the uh, very important probably a national experts as well as international experts in your field, certain theory related to your field, you should know clearly. So I would advise you to read properly and whenever you answer in the interview, you should quote the certain author clearly and as a reference and you should mention your thing. And because all these, whenever you quote this particular theory or expert or reference, when you use the proper references, it means to say that you know the information clearly you have authentic information so have make sure that you have read at least some important papers in your field of research broad area of research and specific area of research then clearly mention why did you choose particular topic uh, the proposal where you have chosen how you have chosen what are the reasons behind it? Rational behind this reason you should mention clearly. And after that, always the question uh, will be on uh, what is your plan? How are you going to continue your research? And how long you will take to complete the research? What's your plan of action for all the three years? Probably they may ask you. So better you have some plan. Just mention that you will do the first six months. You will work for the literature review. And you will identify the topic exactly. And... Uh, You'll, you'll narrow down the topic, then you'll further go, go ahead in that way, you can you can tell. And every phase, what's your plan? So we divide into our entire PhD into six phases. Uh, one phase one, first six month, phase two, second six month. In that way, six phases. And you can clearly uh, you know, spell out your plan, what you are planning to do that thing. Uh, next thing, there will be definitely some basic questions. Basic question means, whether are you strong in fundamentals, be it uh, any department you belong to, definitely they will verify, are you strong in fundamentals? So don't think that it will be only advanced level question. 
because without you know you have a, without fundamental knowledge you will not be able to build any advanced thing so you have to be fundamentally strong whatever the field you are in and make sure that you have clear idea just to brush through all the fund fundas in your field and you will be able to answer it clearly when they ask you in that way you have to ensure that you will be able to answer them and the next important thing is uh, uh, probably you have to they will ask you have you identified the research gap how did you identify the research gap and all those thing if you know it you can tell them otherwise you can tell that it's a tentative plan what you are planning to work on how did you derive interest in that particular field you can tell them and you can quote some papers which you have read recently or uh, the conferences you have attended how did you get an idea to work on that particular field all those things please do not tell that uh, without any reason so this is my childhood interest i wanted to work on this particular field right from my childhood do, do, do not give such kind of immature answer please be very clear and practical and tell the clear answer uh, that answer has to derive no you should just to what you call take it from your original reading not from gen general abstract it don't give any abstract answer give always concrete answer another thing uh, in case if you do not know anything they are asking you the question but you don't know anything about it simply you tell them that sorry you don't know about it and you tell them that in the future definitely once i join i will improve upon you have to tell them never ever try to tell any lies try to do some kind of man don't try to manage it if you know the answer tell them clearly what is the answer if you do not know honestly accept that you do not know but you ensure that you are communicating to them in a such a way that you are open to learn you are ready to learn in that way if you are able to give you know present your answers then they'll be convinced because nobody knows everything that's what known is a drop unknown is a ocean but they'll check their attitude your attitude whether you have a learnability that they'll verify that you have to present it that you are learnable and mainly have a clear idea about your research proposal what you have proposed for this particular research have a clear idea and try to mention all those things clearly in in, in, the, in the interview and uh, very importantly try to listen to the interview because there may be different panel members listen to the each panel member clearly understand the question first before you answer a lot of time people what what do they do they will not understand the question simply they start they they will be very hurry in answering the question please don't do that understand in case if you do not understand the question you can ask them uh, please would you would you mind repeating the question may know what do you mean by this uh, obviously nothing wrong in asking some clarification but once you are clear then start answering the question do not uh, answer the any questions before you are you know unless you are very clear about it these are the basic thing but it will vary panel to panel but if you have given in this video it will slightly in the basic level it will help you and you will be able to do very well in the next kind of thing got it and if you have any further questions specific question you can put it in the comment box i will try to answer you and all the best for your interviews and uh, I, i i wish you all very good luck in your interview thank you have a good day